And now, please welcome Brad Tessel! Yay! Patty's gonna be sitting here in a minute, but she's wandering around the house that we made. You can come in if you like. So uh, we rent it. It's a big, big, weird old house. It's like my mom's house when I grew up. A little musty, a little musty in here. It's not me, it's, it's the house. Is it, it's not you? It's not you? That's, that's good. It is the house because it was here before you got there. Hey, Gwen just walked in from the show. Gwen will be on July 1st, I think. Oh, no, it's Gwen's mom, actually. Gwen's mom will not be on the show. It's good to see everybody. A lot going on. I apologize. I'd like to say hi to everybody. Hello, Katie. Thanks for coming. Say hi. Hi, thanks for having me. Katie will be here also, and Andy's going to be here. Hi, Andy. Oh, there. Yay, coming Yay. in. And, and our cast of amazing people. Uh, we are in Columbus, Indiana. Steve chose not to come. He was going to come, but then he found out it doesn't pay anything. Uh, <laughs> there's no money, actually. So what are you doing? What are you, Pat, Pat, you could just turn the camera. You don't have to do that. You could turn the camera. <laughs> Patty is being a problem already. Okay. Well, hey, let's not, let's not... You know, it's better. Look. It, it's yes, it's so much better. So here we go. I'm going to start reading the jokes from Columbus, Indiana. Here we go. Let's see if they're funny. First joke. A 30-year-old Texas mother spent the entire day at her daughter's middle school pretending to be her 13-year-old daughter. Who saw that? Uh, none of the faculty questioned the mom all day in the hall or classes or <laughs> questioned if she was older than 13. <laughs> she did it to prove the school security was lacking. She was finally outed and arrested as older than a young teen when she didn't know all the words to the WAP by Cardi B, that song. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be funnier if I could actually say what the WAP stood for. <laughs> yes, it would. It would, I know. Harrison Ford, joke number two. Harrison Ford, 78, is filming the fifth Indiana Jones movie. Come on, everybody. <laughs> the last outing was 2008's Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Uh, the new film will be titled Indiana Jones and the Plastic Hip. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, well. All right. <clears throat> In Washington's, in Washington's, yes, in Washington, cicadas grounded President Biden's press plane. Did you see that? Oh, I didn't hear that. No. A Delta Airlines charter was all set to leave for the UK and follow Air Force One to cover the president's trip, but the plane was breached by thousands of cicadas. <laughs> wow. A spokesman for Delta said, our policy is clear. No mask, no travel. <laughs> and that was just to a woman, not there was a cat. Okay, here we are. I've got faith in this joke. <laughs> the Department of Justice has created a ransomware and digital extortion task force as part of the government's response to the surge in cyber attacks. Did you see this? Mm. You may not know this, but Trump gutted the US's cybersecurity to fund the wall. Mm -hmm. Because hackers disabling the power grid is a much smaller priority than causing illegal aliens to have to climb. <laughs> Fighting. Fighting. By the way, the new task force hacked the hackers of the Colonial Pipeline and retrieved 2.3 million of the 4 million the CEO of Colonial paid the Russian hacking group. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. yep. The cases of hijacking software and data are skyrocketing in this country, skyrocketing. It's getting so bad that C-3PO makes R2-D2 wear a condom when he accesses his ports. <laughs> <laughs> that was dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Patty went outside. She didn't want to hear it. She didn't want to hear this. Hey, you'd never hear me say this, but here I'm going to say it. Trump has been exonerated, <laughs> exonerated by the D.C. Park Police, who said that clearing the protesters June 1st last year with tear gas and rubber bullets was not to open up the sidewalk for the ex-president to take a picture with a Bible in front of the church. The police already had it on their calendar 
to violently attack protesters to de-escalate the situation of protesters being peaceful. <laughs> the goal was to erect a fence to stop peaceful protesters from the nothing they were doing on the lawn. <laughs> and they thought that, you know, it was just a coincidence that shootings and beatings happened just before Trump wanted to show his devotion to that Jewish guy that he doesn't know the name of. <laughs> okay. You know, those jokes are just a lot of words. <laughs> for everybody. Is Katie still here? Wow, yes. I can't believe it. Yeah, she's still here. She's like... I'm committed. You're committed. <laughs> yes. After, well, here are four more jokes and see if you're still committed. <laughs> hey, okay. This is wild. Uh, Alice, you've probably seen this because you're so sciencey. Researchers have revived a microscopic organism after 24,000 years in the Siberian permafrost. Revived it. They've also gotten the tiny critter to reproduce. What could possibly go wrong with this? <laughs> Sounds like a movie from the asylum. I know. <laughs> but officials, to be safe, immediately sent it to the lab in Wuhan, China for safekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you all know what that meant? Mm -hmm. by, by the way, in other cyber news, a lot of cyber news this week. Mm -hmm. In more cyber news, a worldwide internet outage and disruption of websites around the world yesterday was caused by one customer <laughs> of the San Francisco-based cloud internet server Fastly. One customer. The customer changed one setting on his laptop and created a 49-minute worldwide outage. The company's <laughs> spokesman said, Gilligan! <laughs> 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 Man, you gotta be over 50 to get that one, don't you? Let's let's look. Nope, Katie, no idea. Katie's like I got it! Oh, did you get it? You get I it? mean, you know, reruns exist. That's true, rerun. Wow. That, that was very good, little buddy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that one was good. This one, this one not so much. But just the concept here is crazy. Yesterday. So GOP Texas House Representatives member Louis Gomert Pyle. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Louis Gomert. I added the pile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Asked the Forest Service if maybe the Earth's rotation or orbit could be changed to combat climate change, or maybe we could move the moon a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Majority of people voted for this person. I know. Can you believe? Well, they also voted for your guy. Yeah. yeah so, uh, yes, that yes, that is all much easier than just putting up solar panels. God knows how bad. <laughs> okay. By the way, one Forest Service spokesman said about the ideas: it might be possible, but we need to check in with Lex Luthor. <laughs> Luthor. <coughs> okay. Last joke, and then we're going to you, Steve. Are you ready? Let me let me get ready to do that. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be ready to go. I can just do it. No, no, you just calm down. <laughs> a Pennsylvania man is charged with creating a fake identity as a Trump family member to dupe people into donating to a phony political organization. <laughs> he told his donors he was raising money to support Trump's re-election. More than a hundred thousand followers were fooled. <laughs> A hundred thousand? I'll see that and raise you 80 million dupes, said the actual <laughs> Trump. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to replace the spotlight. I'm Brad Tassel. Patty's coming up. We've got a great show. Here he is.